about set for baseball now on the show as you get a look at Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Should see some great battles out of these two next on the show. Masahiro Tanaka gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. EK, what's the word on him? Well, guys, remember, he's got five pitches to work with, so that really makes it difficult for the hitter. He can change speeds, ball moving in and out. Not a lot of fun for the hitters. Settling in now, Mookie Betts. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Tanaka gets the sign. Looking for the strikeout here on 0 and 2. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Betts is retired, and there's one away. With that, here's a look at John Farrell's Boston Red Sox. Eric, who should we keep an eye on? You know, I'm really excited to have the chance to watch Xander Bogarts do his thing. He's a catalyst for this offense when his bat is hot. Just needs to keep having good at bats. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Unable to get the bat around in time and the count evens at two and two. Bases are empty one man out. Sent on the ground out to second. Gloved by Castro. Throw on to first. He'll take care of Pedroia. And there are two away. And with a quick breather here, let's give you a look at the Yankees' defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, this manager loves to do the defensive shifts. So we're going to see a lot of odd formations as the game goes along. I can't wait to see how it works. Xander Bogarts gets his first opportunity now in the top of the first with nobody on. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Red Sox nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. David Price is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, when you talk about starting pitchers, he's one of the most consistent there is in the game. He's got a career ERA in the low threes. I expect him to throw a good ball game here in this one. Into the box, Jacoby Ellsbury, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Steve, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, how about come out here and just swing for the trees? This is a great hitter's park, and you might need a big showing out of your offense to give them a chance to win, so this is the place to do it. Brett Gardner will get his first cuts here. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Well, Ferg, as he's known amongst baseball people, really does call a good game back there. He might reward a pitcher for a good location every once in a while, but most of his calls, they seem to be spot on. And you check this out. This is on the inside part of the plate, but he still is able to take it to the opposite field. I'll tell you, that is back control at its finest right there.
Stepping in now, Alex Rodriguez. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That's a good pitch call right there on that fastball away. That works almost like a pitch out, just in case he's thinking about it over there at first. Cutter, and that's a called strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And with that, let's take a look at the Red Sox on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. EK, what do you got? Yeah, Matty, Dustin Pedroia, for me, one of the best second basemen in all of baseball. Real grinder. Won multiple gold glove awards. One of the best hitting second basemen as well. He's a perennial all-star. Just one of the best all-around players in the game. Mark Teixeira set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Yeah, and he's going to have to find a gap to give that man on first a chance to score. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, two and one. Looks like he employed the slide step on that last pitch. Well, maybe you see a little cat and mouse game going between the pitcher and the runner right now. We'll see who wins this duel. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. After one, no score. David Ortiz makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big time power. Pulled toward right center field. Ellsbury on the move. He can't get there as it falls in. Even though this ball gets to the wall, I think it's still the right decision to stay at first. The way this was shaping up, I'm not so sure he was going to make it, so he'll just hold on with a loud single. Into the box now, Hanley Ramirez. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Yeah, and on two and one right now, you got to figure this guy's wound up for the fastball here. Maybe you come with the breaking ball here out of the zone and hope he goes after it. Tapped out in front of home. A quick out number one. Well, it probably wasn't the way he wanted to move the guy in the scoring position, but it's going to have to do, and he's going to get that man up to second base now with one away. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And standing in now, the versatile Pablo Sandoval. No score here as we play inning number two. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now three and one. He was hoping he'd get him to go up the ladder there, but that's going to set up an even more dangerous pitch here on three and one. Tanaka pauses. Here's the three one. Hot shot towards the hole. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go ahead run at third now with still only one away. Boy. And this is just exactly what this guy does. It's why he's such a good hitter. It's all about getting yourself into a good hitter's count. Here he, he works it to three and one and gets a good pitch out over the plate and just drives it for a solid single. I mean he almost makes it look effortless up there. Coming to the plate now Rusne Castillo and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Oh and it's so important to take advantage of these kind of opportunities early in a ball game. It can change the entire complexion of the game if you can put the other guys on their heels right away. On to Teixeira and it's in time for the double play. The side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. 
through an inning and a half no score on the show. Carlos Beltran strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. This is hit high and deep out to left. Ranging back is Bradley. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Six. Catcher, Ryan McCann. Brian McCann will dig in now. The American League's silver slugger behind the plate a year ago. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Bullet back up the middle. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And you know the hitting coach right now is sitting in that dugout pumping his fist because that's what he's preaching all day, every day. Hit the ball up the middle, hit it hard. Into the box, Chase Headley. There goes the runner. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. I'm not really sure if he didn't get a good break at first or stumbled or what, but this looked like an absolutely perfect hit and run. Instead, he's going to hold on at second base, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Standing in now, Starlin Castro. Chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to two and two now. Has to be thinking strikeout here. A swinging bunt to the mound. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Yeah, sort of a protective swing there as he got on top of this baseball. But the net result is that at least he's able to move these other runners up 90 feet, albeit now with two outs. Didi Gregorius steps in now. Here's the one and one pitch. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And that misses two and two. And I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? Bottom of the second here with no score. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. Throw to first, and that gets him out of the jam. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More from Yankee Stadium in just a moment. 